everyone, this is Jody, and I am here to show a little tiny sand pool design team project. Um, I'm not quite finished with this little journal. For instance, um, I wanna put a little, some little words here, but I'm not sure what to put. So I, um, I got out my sand pool snippets and cut some out and I'm kind of liking that one, or I did get a little teeny Mademoiselle, and I might do that one. I like that one, actually. I think, I think I'm going to do that one. Yeah, I am. So we're just gonna finish off the cover. We're gonna just put a little glue onto the cover, and oopsie. And we are going to stick it right on there, like that. I usually do things a little bit neat, neater than that. Now this little journal is an experiment. It's an experimental journal. I found an old video that I had watched way back when I first started making journals. And um, I found a journal that was made of just file folders and um so i just and i made one way back when i was originally starting to make journals this little file folder journal and i thought oh that would maybe be something fun to use with um some of sam's digitals so i did make this little tiny journal and i adapted it a little bit um i it it has a the notion that goes along with the journal is it has three up pockets and three across pockets, but I got it so full, I while it does have the little across pockets, I didn't put stuff in it yet, and I'm not quite done with what to do with the up pocket, the up tags and the up pockets, but I'm thinking I might leave them blank because they'd be great journaling spots. So, um, most of the digitals from this in this little journal do come from Sam's newest kit, the Lazy Days kit, and it is just a really, really beautiful little kit. And this is one of the images that comes, and I just love this little girl picking flowers from a, a rose bower. So let's open it up. I have it tied with some um, chiffon sorry silk it's really pretty sorry silk and as you can see I have a little pile of things over here that I intend to use to sort of finish this off so when we open it up I made a little side tuck here and here is a place where a little tag can go in but I think it needs more tags so I did I did cut out some more tags these come from the I think the French creams kit. I love these tags. They're just, they're some of my favorite ones. I think I'm gonna ink it up a little bit more, um, but I think I am gonna stick these in there with with this tag just to fill it up and give it a little oomph. I think I'll take a contrasting one and stick it in there like that. That's nice. And then um, this does come from the French spring kit. I love that kit. That's one of my favorite favorite of all times, and I use stuff from it a lot. And I can't remember which kit this comes from. It might come from French Spring as well. My favorite part of this digital of Sam's is this number 19. I love that so much. So I tend to like to use that tag a lot. And um, this does come from the Lazy Days kit. And this also this also comes from the I think sepia couture kit, but I just, it's part of a large page and I just cut it out like a little badge and made it a little tuck spot for that really pretty tiny little tag. And just so you know, here is here is the folder, the, the pocket and the little card that comes out of the pocket and it can be, you know, decorated or I, I thought it was a really wonderful secret journaling spot. I do want to put something on the tabs, but then I thought, well, you know, maybe not. If somebody would like to name their own tabs, that would, might be nice as well. 
Um, now here is, I love, I love this. This, this floral from the kit is, I think my favorite image out of the kit. I just love those roses. And I've made a, a little corner tuck and I took one of the papers and turned it into a, an envelope pocket. And um, I think I'm gonna stuff some things in there. I do have a little journaling card from, I think this is floral tea. I think this is the floral tea kit. And you know, I've only ever used bits from the floral tea, but it has the most wonderful ephemera attached to it. It um, has lovely teacups and really pretty, pretty journaling cards. So there's a nice little hidey place for that. And um, now this tuck, just and so you can see, you could easily journal on that blank space. And the way I constructed this, I know I'm jumping all over the place, but I'm a little manic. I've been at work all day. Um, the way I constructed this, so there wouldn't be bubbles and it wouldn't buckle because of all the glue is I had double-sided sticky um, stuff that was about this wide and I I attached it to all of the file folder backs and then put my papers down on top of it and smoothed them out and I really like how it came out it is so it's not bubbly at all it's very smooth and um, it didn't buckle at all. It stayed nice and nice and um, the pages are nice and straight. They didn't need to be pressed. It's it really turned out well. And I made this little um, sort of collage tuck spot once again from um, various um, parts of various kits. I think this this is from the Lazy Days, and this is another thing I cut out from I think the Sepia Couture. And in that pocket, I put um, this wonderful journaling card with my favorite flowers. And I did increase um, a tag, I think from, and here's the back of one of the, one of the papers in the kit is this bag. I did increase a tag from one of her other kits. They come in this size, but I made them bigger because I wanted a certain tag size. And so I've got that tucked right in front of my favorite image. And then this is my little Sam Poole signature, one of her sweet little envelopes from Sepia Couture. I, I think I have a, a large stash of these envelopes that I just keep on hand because I love them. It's one of my favorite things of all of Sam Poole's digitals is this little envelope. And I've, I've put that in there as well. You turn this page. Oh, look at I was practicing with this tag. Well, I, I made other tags so that we can put them in there. So here's some tags we can just stick up in that tuck spot right there. And um, now this is a cluster I made with a long time. I've been making these for the past month and I've just been grabbing scraps. And so it's just a little cluster made with scraps from I don't know what. I know that's graphics fairy. I know that's Tim Holtz paper. Um, I know that those are um, a stamp from an old um, K and Company uh, sticker set that I once had. But, um, and that's my mother's um, Faust music, which um, I'm tearing up right now. And that I just stuck there because it just looked so pretty in the book. Um, now, another thing that I did do is I did I did cut out a bunch of Sam's little snippets because I adore the snippets. And I do want to maybe put one somewhere. I'm not sure if I'll do it there. I, I've got to sort of look around, but I did want to sort of embellish that pocket a little bit more. Um, now here, I made all with bits of the leftover paper as I was cutting up all the Sam pool. Lazy Days paper, I made a little snippet pad using tea dyed paper and and bits from all the pieces of paper that I had cut up in my quest. And this, to um, make this journal, here's another one of the papers from the kit. It's this lovely pale blue, kind of washed out script. I'm, I love script so much. And here is a pocket 
I made and I sort of edged it with leftovers of my tea dyed paper. And I love this card, but it's not from the Lazy Days kit, I don't think. And I'll, I'll put below which kit this comes from. This is a really nice journaling card and I backed it with my tea, my tea stained paper. And I think I'm gonna put some more, I'm gonna put another, actually I'm gonna put this one. I love this. This comes from the floral tea as well. I love that tag. I'm gonna stick that one in there too. Now this page I left largely with, I love this, this oval place to write. I just thought that was a really, pretty place to be able to put down thoughts. And then I used this picture from the Lazy Days kit. And this these are words, I think from, um, it's another one of the French kits, the one with the little girls. I love those words, first violin. But this is a paper clip. And I did get the idea for this from um, Pinterest. And I'm pretty sure Ingrid made the I made the piece that I was sort of inspired by but it, it does have a little um, luggage tag and um, a little tiny bulb pin with a, this is an ancient ancient old bead I found in my grandmother's sewing box and um, I just love the way that paper clip turned out and you could clip something in there some notes whatever you wanted to do um, I just, I, I love that little girl. Isn't she sweet? Look how pretty she is. And I love these, all these emblems come from the sepia couture kit and they're on the collage page. And I just went to town cutting out circles and shapes using that collage page. Now here is just a blank page. I, I kind of left a blank on purpose, but since we're here with a paper clip, why not? Let's stick a tag up in there since I've got a tag and um, why not? Let's stick a snippet up there. I love that. That looks nice. I love that. And here's another tag that I was inspired by Pinterest. I'm not sure who made it. Um, I've had this in my Pinterest stash of pictures for a really long time. Um, but it's a tag that's made on watercolor paper and I just layered it with, um, fabric and lace and netting and um, seam binding that I sort of ruffled up and sewed. I sewed it all on and a sort of some words. And um, then I put a, a snippet on there to make it complete. Now this is the final part of, of the journal. Um, this pocket here is full of, um, is full of tags that I made. These are all from the um, the Lazy Days kit. And I I just had fun putting, I love making tags. I have a tag fetish, I think. I just love making tags. And they all go in there. They're sort of graduated. But what, what's unique about this is I, I made it so it opens up. And now here is another, I was practicing, another practice tag. Um, but what I was thinking is, here's my all-time favorite Sam Poole snippet, this word Paris. I love this. So I thought I would make a little collage to go on here. And I've got some collage -y things. Let's see. Here's my other very favorite, one of my very favorite Sam Poole snippets. And here's that correspondence again. Oh, I like that. Let's let's do something with that. I'm going to see. I bet it, I bet my glue dried up. What do you bet? Because I had I forgot to put the pin back in. Something I'm prone to do. Let's forget to put the pin back in the glue so that it dries up. Let's see if we can get any glue out. There's a little bit. Here we go. Come on, glue. All right. And then we'll put that there. Yeah, and then we're gonna take the pin and we're gonna make this glue work better. We're gonna go like that, like a plunger. And then I think, I think I'll take this correspondence. I love that correspondence. It's one of my favorite snippets. 
do all of you have the snippets? I think the snippets should be considered a junk journal staple, like bread and milk. I think the snippets are one of, I use the snippets as probably more than one of all the different digitals I use. I use the snippets the most. I love them. I love them so much. I love their muted colors. And I think I'm going to do this one right here like that. That's kind of nice. And then I'll take my, my telephone, which I love this telephone snippet. It's one of my favorites as well. And then I think I'm going to, let's see. Forgive me while I finish up my journal right here on, on camera. Um, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a little glue under there because it needs some glue there. Put that down. And then what else have I got over here? Oh, here is, um, that's cute. And I've got another one of the, um, another one of the little envelopes. They come in three sizes and I just stuck a little bunch of um, French something in there. Um, not real, not real French something. I don't have a lot of real French anything. But um, I think I'm gonna take this rosebud and I think I'm going to put it on my little collage like that. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. And then, let's see if I have anything else. Let's see, what else do I need? A little piece of lace. Here's a very tiny piece of lace I could put on here. Just like, I wonder if I put it under the rose, under the rosebud. What do you think? Here we go. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, right under the rose like that. Okay, so we've done that. This needs to be stuck down a little bit more. Let me just get this glue going. Stick that. It's a sweet little collage. And then I thought, I'm not sure what I have to go in that little, I do have another tag. And I could use one of my, um, one of my my sample tags that I was I was using to um, see if they opened up properly. I'll just put that. In. I'll cover that before I before I do anything more with it. But that closes up. And my problem that I had with this journal was because I had made this opening up part, I couldn't punch a hole for the closure. So I used one of did my little trick with the Tim Holtz um, specimen pins. And I stuck it in between the pages and it, it's firm, it's in there. I glued it in there. And then I have, the other thing I've been doing is making lots of snippets, um, cluster snippets. So I have this cluster and I thought it would be fun and it's not all Sam stuff, but it is a cluster and I thought it would be fun to put some Sam stuff on the cluster. Let's see what I've got. I think I used, I might like this and Samalize it. I'm Samalizing the cluster. And I do think I will take this rosebud and put it on the cluster. Oops, I broke off the stem. I'll put the rosebud on the cluster as well. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's kind of sweet, like that right there. And then I'll take this Sam Pool snippet. I love this one. It's so tiny. I just love it. I'm gonna put this one on there as well. But I'm gonna just stick it right, where should I put it? Maybe right down there. There we go. That's very nice. And then somewhere around here, I have, oh, there it is. There's a paper clip right there. I can just snuggle it up under this paper clip right here and put it on that page. That's nice. So that's my little teeny tiny sample 
journal project. Here's another one of the, the journaling pages. It comes out right at the top like that. They're all made of tea stained paper covered in music that comes in the kit. And they go back in there. And I just thought those were the neatest things. Now, I'll show you the pockets. There are other pockets that, um, let me put that back on. I love that little tag. I love that little picture of that girl. Um, there are other pockets that open. See, you can put things in the side pockets here. And I didn't, I think I'll do this though. I'll do that on another one. Let's see. So here's a side pocket right there, which I could do this with. There we go. That's kind of nice. And um, so every other pocket is a side pocket. And um, then there's the up tuck pockets, the up ones, the ones that come out long ways. There's, you know, the horizontal, the vertical ones and the horizontal ones. I might have done that wrong. It's horizontal and vertical. Okay, I got it right. And then um, that's my little journal. Let's tie it back up with my pretty little chiffon ribbon. And it's, it's a chunky little thing, but it would make um, a fun little journal to have to just record little bits of poetry or secrets or whatever. And I do love, I do, do, do love that little cover girl. And here's the paper that's the back, the backing, and it's the, the um, spine is covered with sorry silk, just glued on. And that's some of the paper from the kit. But that's it, guys. That's my Sam Pool design project. Just a little tiny offering. I'm cooking up a bigger one in my brain, and I was going to try and pull that off, but I want it to be really nice. So I'm still, I'm still percolating on that one. I want to use one of my favorite newer kits that Sam made that I haven't had a chance to use yet. So that will be a surprise thing. Um, so. I hope you are all staying warm. It's very cold here. I'm, there's no snow. We just have cold, cold, cold. And um, so it has been very chilly, but I hope you all stay warm and I hope you're all gonna have a really great year. I'm looking forward to having a great year myself. I've got a lot of things going on in my brain that I wanna do. And I really appreciate you watching and I appreciate everybody on this team. It's a great bunch of ladies. I mean, I love our little conversations that we have back and forth. And of course I adore Sam. And um, I hope you'll go take a look at this Lazy Days kit because it is, it's really a special one. It's really beautiful. And I didn't even use everything that's in the kit. I, I only used probably half of it, um, not even that, but um, Everybody have a good evening and um, have a good rest of your January. Bye.